dear viewers today we are going to discuss that as you all know that for performing any type of animal studies in any institute you should have institutional animal ethics committee and that is constituted by the guidelines of cpcsca what is full form cpcsca committee for the purpose of control and supervision of experiments on animals this committee was previously under the ministry of environment forest and climate change uh, animal welfare division but now it has been shifted to ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairy department you can see here it is written it comes under government of india and uh, for that you have to uh, go in the website www.cpcsca.nic.in when you click here you can see it is given for new registration then this is for renewal of registration or reconstitution of iaec today we are going to discuss about renewal so what you have to do is for renewal uh, what what is required so basically as you all know that uh, iac members internal iac members uh, they are uh, present in the committee and there are external members now you are going for reconstitution or renewal so you have to identify five members and you have to prepare the bio data and consent letters of these five iac members they should be from science background including one veterinarian having at least bachelor of veterinary science degree and at least half of the internal members are required to be replaced at the time of reconstitution of iac it means that the same members which were in previous uh, iac they should not be present means you have to change at least half of the members okay and what more is required uh, the minutes of iac meetings of previous 5 years uh, here i would like to say that every 5 years Uh, the reconstitution of iac is done so previous 5 years iac meeting report you should be having with you and it should be duly signed by all the iac members okay and for the constitution or for having any meeting minimum 6 members are required to complete the quorum we will see further how, how, how means the detail of the various members of iac and what more is required we will have a annual inspection and annual inspection report of the animal house facility and annual statement of large animals use if you are having that should also be present okay so in uh, the uh, first of all come on let us discuss about the uh, constitution of the iac so this is the uh, document in which constitution is given see uh, as i have already told you that every 5 years it is changed and uh, the main members are like here you can see five members are there so uh the first of all we will see what can be the qualification so bvsc means bachelor of veterinary science then msc in zoology or animal science or animal biotechnology then msc or mtech in life sciences biological sciences biochemistry biotechnology biomedical engineering with experience in animal handling and animal research or m farm with experience in animal handling and animal research or md or ms with research experience in laboratory animal handling fine these are the qualifications now we will see the composition of the members there will be one biological scientist then two scientists from different biological disciplines then one veterinarian 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 means uh, uh, the person who will be handling the animals and they will be involved in the care of animals then scientist in charge of animal house facility so on total five members are here which are the they will be the internal members of the iac which we will be nominating from our institute okay so the establishment they have to upload the bio data with the consent of 
uh, the members which are which we are proposing in single pdf file in the format we will see the format also then the chairman of the committee preferably head of the institution is the chairman of the committee or if institute wants they can appoint any other person also maybe director as the chairman of the committee but they should have above qualifications and member secretary should be nominated by the establishment for the above five iac members okay further here they have said that the veterinarian in iac is very very important member and it is mandatory so now uh, now we generally cpcsa is saying that you have to appoint full time veterinarian okay but if it is not available then you can engage the veterinary from outside basis but see this is uh, the guideline of 2018 but now they have told that you have to appoint your own veterinary doctor and at least as i told half of the members have to be replaced and then other members will be will be given the name of the other members will be given by the cpcsc and it will include main nominee link nominee then scientist from outside the institute and socially aware nominee these will be appointed by cpcsca on receipt of the above composition of aac for the establishment here main nominee is the person who uh, basically who is the main signing authority and in absence or uh, when the main nominee is not available then the role comes of link nominee but they have said that in uh, suppose uh, like if main nominee is coming in all the meetings then also at least once in a year you have to call or you have to invite link nominee also for the meetings and here only i would like to say that every 6 months we have to conduct meeting of iac but if you are having proposals more than 40 in a year then after every 3 months also you can conduct the meeting this is the format of bio data and consent uh, form or this is the consent format for the members of iac here you have to write name sex date of birth then your professional mailing address it includes institutional in name of the institute then phone telephone number of office then mobile number telephone number of residence email id then academic qualification this is very important then these are the details that you have to write of qualification then you have to write of experience like what is your experience then you have to specially mention the experience in animal handling and research so at the end you have to write here i hereby give my consent to the member of the iac to be the member of iac okay so here you have to give your signature and date so this is the format of the bio data that has to be included now we will be seeing that uh you as we have discussed previously that we have to go for inspection so what what will be there in the inspection report uh this is the checklist for inspection of establishment or institute here you have to write date of the inspection the name and address of the institute or establishment with contact number fax number and mobile okay so this is the name and date of registration as per company act initial registration of the iac this you have to write then whether the premises of the institute or establishment is on rent or it is self owned then if any sister concern is there where uh, the animal experiments have to be carried out then location of the animal house facility then here it is name of the head of the institution address contact details then objectives of the organization in purpose in purpose you have to tick whether you are going for just education or for research for education purpose or research for commercial purpose commercial means you are going to give some consultancy services etc then breeding for in house use and breeding for the purpose of trade or for production of hyper immune plasma serum etc these are various categories for which we we generally go for cpcsa we, we go for this 
institutional animal ethical committee so if you are going for research then you have to specify whether it is for basic contract collaborative or regulatory research if education you have to write name of the certificate like you are going for a diploma degree like d farm b farm m farm phd for what then composition of the iac in detail having name designation qualification discipline and organization to which the members belong this they are telling about the internal members then you have to enclose the copy of detailed minute of last iac meeting of the establishment then overall assessment in overall assessment like it is recommended or not it is good or satisfactory then in recommendation uh, uh, the inspector will be writing like recommended for approval without any stipulation or recommended for reinspection so uh, suppose there are various deficiencies then they will write for reinspection giving the details then recommended for rejection with specific ground suppose they are not having uh, proper animal house facilities then they can write here rejected also at the end name and signature of the inspecting authority they have to write their name the inspector has to write the name and signature with date so this is the main format uh, or main checklist for the inspection of establishment generally the name of the inspector is given by cpcsc and for that also there is sitting fees for all the nominees there is sitting fees you have to pay 5000 the institute has to pay rupees 5000 for every inspection okay now we will be seeing now we will be discussing about the fees structure see here they have written that uh, you have to apply for the renewal before the expiry date of the registration if you are applying after expiry date then cpcsc will be charging penalty for late renewal so this is the letter which was issued by cpcsc okay so according to this it has been written that you have to apply before the expiry of the registration of the animal house facility and they have given the online facility to us so this is uh, written that they have revised it is for five, every 5 years you have to renew the registration and you have to reconstitute institutional animal ethics committee see this is the fee structure uh, this is uh, the registration for the purpose of re research for education Uh, you have to pay rupees ten thousand for small animals and rupees ten thousand for large animals. Similarly, for commercial, the fees is same. For research, uh, just for research also it is same. Then for research commercial, it is uh, for large animals it is again rupees ten thousand. For breeding, you have to pay fifteen thousand for small animals, twenty five thousand for large animals. then registration for breeding for the purpose of trade if you want to sell also the animals after breeding then you have uh, to pay rupees 25000 for small and 25000 for large ones and for the renewal for the purpose of research for education rupees 2500 for small for large again 2500 then renewal for the purpose of research for commercial again it is 2500 2500 and for the purpose of research also it is the same c then renewal for the purpose of non research commercial it is for large animals it is 2500 then renewal for breeding it is again 2500 2500 then renewal for breeding for the purpose of trade it is 2500 suppose it happens that iac has been constituted and you want to change one of the member then you have to again pay pay rupees 1000 for the revision of iac okay and uh, next is protocol on large animals education other than this is here it is written that protocol on large animals are there if if there are protocols then again per protocol they have to pay rupees 1000 and for large animals educational other than thesis project per protocol rupees 5000 and then for non educational purpose also per protocol it is rupees 5000 okay 
then here they are uh, saying that if it happens that beforehand you are not applying like before the date of expiry you are not applying then the registry uh, they will be charging again the registration fee see here you can see that registration fees was rupees 10000 but renewal fees is just 2500 so if you are delaying then they will be charging the initial registration fees okay so this was the main content like if you are going for renewal or if you are going for reconstitution then this these are the guidelines of cpcsc thank you so much